Right then everyone, I'm on the Coleridge Walk now, stage two, ST183392, um, there's a little symbol of a feather, hopefully it'll be all the way round so I won't get lost, and I've got this, it says continue along this footpath which follows the stream in parts for about half a mile until reaching a crossroads next to a cottage turn right and follow the green lane at the top is a gate on the left signpost greenway so that's what i'm doing at the moment so i've just come out of nether stewie after getting the bus the number 14 from the bus station takes you to cannington and the outskirts of cummidge stagirsi then on to Nether Stowey. So I'm right out in the Somerset countryside now. Um, and I'm doing the Coleridge Way, which is a route followed by <coughs> Samuel Coleridge. A couple hundred years ago, they did this walk. They would communicate with each other. Wordsworth and Coleridge would walk this route. Um, Wordsworth. I think it was 1798, 1797 or something, lived at Old Foxen House and um, they did some ballads together and that sort of thing and, and would explore the Somerset countryside. I've put on my insect repellent, Vaseline, to help protect me from ticks, um, which is going to get worse this is probably the last time I could probably come out even this it's not guaranteed that you won't get bitten because there's any bit of sun and they come out and they'll be very hungry after a long winter um, so they say keep to the main tracks if you can try not to go wandering off into the bushes and don't sit down anywhere So this is part, this is, I've done two small minute videos on the mobile, just as a gentle introduction. Um, and I'm going to try and record parts of this route. This is um, on here, this is stage two. Stage three, um, this is when I go through the gate they mentioned, and going up to Wolf, Wolford's Gibbet or gibbet, where Walford was hung in 1789 for the murder of his wife. His body was hung in a cage for a year and a day. But that's um, after this stage. It's all really exciting, isn't it? I forgot my oranges. The first time I forgot my oranges, but I brought bananas, a small cheese sandwich, a small jam sandwich, um, cake, um, nuts, some sweets, um, some fruit bars. Because I haven't got me wellies on, I'm not expected to walk through the stream. This is the bubbling brook. Um, I don't know, I have got a clue yet. I'm just going to follow the signs. It's a good day to do it though, not too hot, not too cold, it's not windy and it's not raining. And here, this is Sheila, at the base of the Quantox. Making her way, following the roots. Now you see, there's a difficult thing, look. Look at that. Where's the feather? Well, I just follow the feather. Horses can go through the... There's the feather, look. So we carry on. <clears throat> so let me just read that. Yeah, obviously I can't walk through the stream. You'd have to have wellies on for that. I imagine this is where they say you carry on a path, walking, following a stream. It's just that this could be 
this has already been put on um, a CD by somebody else who's obviously done really fantastic photographs and everything as well. Here's some little primroses on the way. Just imagine Coleridge and that coming this way. And now, hundreds of years later, lovers of the countryside are following in their footsteps. Breathing in the fresh air. Oh yeah. I've had to have my inhalers just in case. I brought one with me. I took a special one last night. Um, just to get me going. I should have really have taken that one again this morning really, but I took the brown one instead. Hopefully get the airway open. Make it easier so I'm not too much heavy breathing on the videos. It's, anyway, it's a beautiful day. I'm exploring. All I know is I have to be either at Holford or West Quantock Head in just under seven hours. Um, otherwise I'll miss what I believe to be the last bus. I mean, it might not be, but from what I can gather, after about five to four, there's no more buses, but there could be another sort of bus. I got one of those all day passes for the buses. You can get a combined bus and train pass which I'll look into another time as I do want to get out on my bike um, so I've come quite a way to get here I started off early I was up at half past five having my breakfast a nice cup of tea getting my pet lunch organized I mean but the rucksack's quite heavy because I've got three bottles of water one carbonated two cartons of Ribena and um, because fluids, you know, where I'm going, you might not be able to always find somewhere to get someone to give you some water, you see. So there we go. Look, the horses could come through that brook there. <clears throat> right, I'm going to turn off for now. This is video main video one of Sheila's um, visit to the Quantox following the Coleridge walk from Nether Stowey heading towards Holford to start with um, and I will see how I get on whether I go on to West Quantock Head I'm basically gonna have to assess myself time-wise um, more than anything so I haven't got a clue how long it will take me um, and I don't want to be rushing anywhere but I think I can always backtrack to Holford I think I, I've got plenty of time to get there in a bus yes when I start roaming off um, that's when there could be problems but anyway I'll see you later in later videos over and out this is Sheila from Somerset